So here we are. We went down the road all those years and years ago. Hard to believe that. We're 76 now. But my hips are only 12 months, so you have to work that out yourself. But we're coming down to what we would say, honestly say, is the last kind of, we're on the last lap. So I'm going to try and go out the same way as I came in, 1967. Great skid row. Noel Bridgman, Gary Moore, Phil off all the while. Playing, playing in that style. And for all you Skid Row fans, if you want to know the reason why the band, why Gary Moore left the band, there's a track on 34 Hours called Love Story, 1, 2, 3 and 4. I wrote that. Gary sang it. But Gary reckoned that the band was getting too complicated. They were getting too far away from the blues. And he's right. That's the direction we were going to go in. But I'd like to say to people, and it's true, the boys will be the first to tell you this. I wrote 99% all those rips. So, I'm going to go out on all those riffs. The ones like... And we're going to be playing what we used to call fairly fast and a bit of scat. gigs are going to be playing my new songs. The new single is called The Zit Geist of Zazimus and you're just going to lick it. That's how it's So now you probably noticed I started out as a bass player and even though I played the guitar I'm a bass player playing the guitar. So what I take is bass guitar solos on the guitar, except I bend the strings like. So, if you're going to come along to the gigs that we're going to be doing, you have to remember that it's going to be like the old skid row. The bass plays the licks. That's what it's all about. The bass plays the licks. The guitar solos a good bit. And the drummer gives it everything he's got. So this is the last roundup. This is the final farewell. So unlike Elton John, I'm not going to tell you that this is my last tour because Rock musicians, they never retire, they just get no gigs. So when they say they're semi-retired, they get less gigs than they used to. So as long as there's an old cover charge gig out there that'll give me a run, we're gonna be there. And we're gonna be playing the blues in a kind of a very aggressive, jazzy kind of style. And look out for our new single, which is called The Zitgeist of Zosimus. Zig and Zag had a zany zest for Zeppelin, Zappa, Zizi and Zits and Zombies and Zippers and Zebras and Zebus and all in the zone of the zoological that go zing on the zippers, zoom on the zippers and they knew a Zulu who owned a zinc mine in Zimbabwe who went from zero to zenith with the zeal of a zealot and the zit geist of Zosimus. And the other one is called I'd rather be a rack hand sewer than a cantankerous sewer. Some people are born lucky, some people are born blessed. I was close to the God, the devil attacks first, I was never in any distress. The true saint knows that she or he is definitely not what a devil will be. Less our morals have a tendency to turn main morals into gods, and that's what interests me. You can be under the weather, over the moon, at the end of your telephase, and reckoning around the big ear powers that you're always there, chasing away every towers on the warm, wide web. Spend the rest of your days in the elephant's graveyard. Shake off the brace, busk it like brave fire, lambs to the slaughter, arms to the pillar. I'd rather be a raconteur than a cantankerous. <laughs> It's 
little bit of shredding. I haven't even warmed up. It's a Sunday morning. Mighty Farm. I'm here with Brendan McFingus, All Things Irish, and Rock and Roll. I'm looking forward to seeing you at the Ditch Cassidy. Ditch Cassidy gig on the 14th. That's a Thursday in August here. And remember Ditch, he's one of the greatest characters of all time ever to come out. Come out of the Dublin. Beat, beat group, rock and roll, 60s scene. He was the man that went to Germany. One of the first ever to go out there and pioneer the way. He's the man who put Calvi the cheese back in the, back in the news, particularly the triangular ones. But the most important thing about him was he had the voice, he had the attitude, he had the charisma, he had the style. He said to me, I love Lou Rawls. I said to him, Did you I think you're the oldest joke ever? Unfortunately, he had to head prematurely for the promised land and Phil was there and Gary Moore was there and Noel Bridgman was there. They see him come and they say, hey boys, it's going to be some crack tonight. Here comes Ditch Cassidy, 14th of August, give no. me some aloe oil. So, 14th of July, yeah, 14th of July. Hey, that's what happens when you've been around too long and you're doing with the, the 14th of July, give me, that was Brendan Fingers' voice, he'll be there on the night too with the band, Norman and the rest of the lads. So, let me say it again. It's the 14th of July, that's a couple of weeks away, when he's giving me some Malahoid while paying tribute to the ineffable, that means words can't explain how great he was. His voice is still out there on the records and on YouTube you can see him there. But please join us on the 14th of July in Gibney's and Malahoid as we pay tribute to one of the greatest ever pioneers, one of the greatest ever characters. One of the greatest ever stylists. A lad who would make you smile when you see him coming. And you always enjoyed his company. And you can't say more about a person than his great company. And he was.